No, 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 it's cool. Hey, we were just doing interviews here, and I was wondering if we could interview you, yeah. and then we'll move on to our Go next ahead. place. So you can I'm, have I'm moving on to it. Okay. All right, so are, are you, you're, you're making a progress down the strip this way? Up and down the strip. Okay, we good? Is this a, got a good shot? All right. Why don't you tell us what's your name, where you're from, and why are you here today? My name is Chadwick Edwards, and I'm here. I live in Las Vegas. I'm from Hawaii, but I come out on the strip to preach the word because no one is preaching the word. And people are going to church, and you're not supposed to be going to church. You're supposed to be going to Jesus. Only Jesus can help you. Mary can't do nothing for you. Only Jesus can. Church does nothing for you. Only Jesus can. Give Jesus your life. Ask Jesus to come into your heart, and you will be saved. And the, and, and the Bible, it says, Call no man your father upon the earth, for one is your father, which is in heaven. And how are you, uh, what kind of reception are you getting here on the strip? Uh, mostly good, but from inside the casinos, they don't like me because I, I, I'm, I'm chasing away the customers, you know what I mean? Well, I've been kicked off the property a couple of casinos already, and I could see, uh, I was out in front of the Harrods, I could see them making a big commotion, you know what I mean? So I got out of there, you know? So I'm just like preaching and moving along, preaching and moving along. <laughs> do, you, do you think people are like wandering into casinos and strip clubs and then see you and go, oh gosh, I'm not going to do that? I don't, I really don't know. I get, it's a uh, mix, mix, uh, it's, it's really tough to tell because they're all misled. You're not supposed to go to church. When people want to be closer to God, what do they do? They go to church and that's, that's a no-no. Going to church is a no-no. You don't go to church, you go to Jesus. Only Jesus can help you. All in you, The Bible is the only truth that there is. You read the Bible and you go to Jesus. For he seeketh for you to worship him in secret. So you go in a closet, you close the door, and you worship Jesus. And that's how you'll be saved. How, who are you supporting for president this year? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm passive. <laughs> We go. You don't have an opinion on who the most godly person in the race is? No. I don't think we have a fair... I don't think our vote counts, to tell you the truth. I really don't think so. I think it's rigged. I think the, uh, the cardinals of the Catholic Church controls all the politicians and all the politics. Cardinal Egan of New York is who picked the last three candidates for president. He picked Bush. He picked Obama. You know? Uh, it's the Catholic Church who runs America. It's not, we don't have no right, we have, they're taking away our freedom one day at a time. And all the, whoever comes into office is going to be the puppet of the Roman Catholic Church. For the Roman Catholic Church is the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. I'm here to try and get people out of the church and come to Jesus. Do you think that you're making progress in a, in a greater yes. shift for humanity, that, yes. that things are going this yes. direction? Oh yes, oh yes. Because the end of days is coming soon. They say, just like how it was in the days of Noah, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as it was in the days of Noah, it was just like this. They were eating and drinking, marrying and fornicating, until that day Noah entered into the ark, and they knew not until the flood came, and it took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. That's what I'm telling everybody here today. Well, since you've come to Vegas, has Vegas gotten bigger or smaller? Bigger. Bigger. Uh, so it's, it would seem like, you know, along with the decline in religious affiliation in the United States, the increase in atheism that is a steady yeah. trend, it would seem like you're on, you're on the losing end of this. You know, you're holding back in, in, in Avalanche. Well, Je Jesus does not like religion. See, and if you win, read the last verses of the Bible, Jesus wins in the end. So I'm on the winning team. You know, I'm trying to get others, trying to get you people, anybody on the winning team. You know what I mean? So this end times prophecy, this is what you're, you're looking forward to? Uh, well, we can't do nothing about it. There's nothing we can do. All I can do is warn the people, and that's exactly what I'm doing today. How do you know that that's true? Like, how do you determine, in your worldview, how do you determine what is true and what isn't? Everything, you look at the, the, the prophecy and then you look at the news and then that's how you correct the news. So are you a Bible literalist? Everything in the Bible is literally true? Yes. Everything in the King James 1611 Bible is literally true. How do you know that the Bible is true and not the Quran? Uh, the Vatican invented Islam. They invented is Islam. They trained Muhammad, you know. 
It's, it's, a, it's an invention of the Vatican, and, and it's all part of prophecy, prophecy you know what I mean? The, 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 actually, the Islam is on the side of the Vatican. Whoever is not with Jesus is against Jesus. So if they, can, if they can get you to go to church or do anything, witchcraft, be Islamic, or anything. How, do you know that, how would you know that Christianity is true but not Hinduism? It's 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 not it's it's either you're either with you're either saved or you're not saved. I'm saved. You're either uh, blessed with the Holy Ghost. Okay, but I, I'm 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 more concerned with like what is your basis for the knowledge of the truth? Because because the Bible Jesus is, is the, the Bible was written by men, correct? Yes, it was written by men, piggybacked by the Holy Ghost. Well, then wasn't uh, how do you know that that's the text that was inspired Jesus, by God and not every other text that's ever been written? I was investigating that on the internet. And that's how I got saved, and that's when Jesus came out to me, and he had showed me something, and I read it, and he told me. And when I was done, he said, now you know. And then from then on, I knew that the King James Bible was the real true word of God. Because I used to be Catholic for 39 years. My brother's a Knights of Columbus. My grandfather's a Knights of Columbus, both Jesuits. My oh, whole I want to get back to this, this, this moment, though. You had a moment yeah. where Jesus came and personally, came personally spoke to you. Yes. He spoke to me and he said, he, he knows how to surf the internet. He took the mouse out of my hand. He took me to this web page that had a chart that had the history of the King James Bible and the history of the NIV Bible, the Catholic Bible, and all the way back down to Alexandria and to Antioch, you know, and he made me read the whole thing. And when I was done reading, he said, now you know. And I just sat there for seven hours, just wow. And I was like, you know, now I know what I got to do. You know, I'm just thinking the whole time I was thinking Jesus is real. Jesus is real. You know, and every memory going back in my head was just clicking back, you know. In fact, doing Jesus is real into it, you know, just click, click, click. For seven hours, I just sat there and just, wow. It was a supernatural sensation, a feeling of warmth and peace. And I want that back. And I'm, and I, to do Jesus, is, I'm doing Jesus' bidding by going out and warning everybody what's to come and telling everybody to go to Jesus and not to church. Church is where Satan is. So, so this, this vision was like a dream, right? It was something that was happening in your head? No, it happened. It ha I was on the internet. He took the mouse out of my hand and I was like, wow, what's going on? And then he went down to the bottom of the page, took went to another page and he put his hands on my head and he went like, read. And when I was done reading, he said, now you know. And I was like, wow. That was just the best, I mean. Why hasn't he done this for everybody on the internet? Because. Because like when, I, when I'm on the internet, I mean, I get guided to all sorts of crazy places well, exactly. and it's you rarely the Bible. Yes, he that doeth truth cometh to the light that his deeds be, may be made manifest. You know what I mean? Do If you do truth, you will find Jesus. He will come to you in one way or another. You will find him. Jesus is the only truth. Anything but Jesus is 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 it gets it gets more distorted the further away from Jesus you come, and the Roman Catholic Church is the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. They they milled, they, they 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 killed, murdered, tortured, and burnt alive 100 million people in the past, and that is in the Bible and that's true. And the Pope of Rome is the the biblical prophetical and diabolical antichrist. Every pope that assumes the office of pope is the antichrist. All right, thank you for your time today, sir. Appreciate it very much.